Okay, so the lift is a notice. Holds eight people. Mm. Maybe six. There are two of them, and you have to activate them with your key card. A security feature. Welcome to the Ibis Hotel in Brighton. It's in Brighton City Centre railway station area uh, in East Sussex in England. And I'm here for one night on a room only basis, which has cost £80. So, might be a little bit more than you'd normally pay in an Ibis, but Brighton is not a cheap place to stay. And we are now in, uh, in the shoulders of tourist season. So I will go back to the beginning and show you exactly what I have got. So, upon entering the room just here, you will notice above there is an air conditioning unit, which we like. There's a lovely full length mirror for checking yourself out very clean. And there's a plug socket beneath it. First plug socket of the day. To the left is the bathroom, which we will explore shortly. And then we've got the bed. So it's a very nice sized, king size bed. Look at that. Really plumb mattress. I'm happy with that. We've got the flat screen Philips TV and a bit of paraphernalia underneath it. And we've got what is the wardrobe. So we've got a spare pillow at the top. There's about seven coat hangers beneath, and then space for putting your case, whatever. Some open shelving. Tea and coffee making facilities. Um, a working type chair. And then there's another luggage storage area just there. Two plug sockets. Um, and what looks like a, a network data point. Now this is good because the plug socket's not too far from the bed. There are no other plug sockets by the bed. But I can live with that. That's good enough. I'm happy enough with that. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed with the room to be honest. I mean it's the standard Ibis kind of hotel room. It's not massive or anything but it's clean and it's been, you know, it's well maintained. So, all good. I asked for a room on a high floor with a street view. I'm on the ninth of ten floors and this is my view. I'll just see if I can open the window a little bit to let the sounds of the street in. But I'm looking straight across at a building that says Rail Standard on. And the railway station for Brighton is literally in that direction. A one minute walk, if that. So it's my first time in Brighton, so I don't really know the lay of the land, but the beach and so forth is in that direction. And it looks, you can see the sea when you come out of the station. So I'd say it's probably a seven or eight minute walk. Maybe a bit more, but I wouldn't have said a lot more. Um, oh, of course, I should mention the all important hydrator for those people who wish to preen their bouffants. And uh, yeah, okay, so let's have a look in the bathroom. So, the bathroom, I always say this when I stay in Ibis, reminds me of a Thompson cruise ship. Or maybe Thompson cruise ships remind me of an Ibis. But uh, it's obviously some sort of unit which is just transported into the building like this. But uh, it's great, it's got everything you need in a very compact space. A nice big mirror, a really big mirror. Good, uh, good lighting. A small sink, but a good sink area around it, and then you've got some soapy stuff. And you've got more soapy stuff in the shower, and um, a proper shower, which is not a shower bath, it's a nice shower. So it's step-free access into the shower, which is great. It's not a horrible shower curtain, it's these glass doors. Now there is a slight step up to get into the bathroom. 
but it is only a very slight step up. So accessibility wise for a lot of people, well for most people, it should be fine. Although don't make the mistake that I did when I first got here and forget that there is a step when you come out of the bathroom because you go down with a shock. Two hooks for hanging stuff. We like hooks. Right, I'm very happy with what I've got. I'm off to explore Brighton. I've got an afternoon of leisure, a night of pleasure, and then tomorrow the hard work begins. So I'll see you later kids. I'll do some more filming around uh, when I can. Okay, 